welcome back to the series. Next up, we have Simon, who will be telling us a little more about X-ray NDT and how our technologies are being utilised in this area. Can you start off by telling us what exactly is X-ray NDT? Well, NDT stands for non-destructive testing, so X-ray NDT is the broad name for using the unique abilities of X-rays to see inside products or materials which might normally have to be broken into or in some way altered, but when imaged using X-rays can be inspected in a non-destructive manner. In fact, you may be surprised just how many of the everyday products in your life are inspected with X-rays to ensure their quality, consistency and function on a daily basis. For example, electronics such as your mobile phone will be inspected with x-rays at various points in the manufacturing process to ensure the correct placement of components and the secure soldering of the many thousands of wire connections. The food that you eat, either a ready meal or raw products like rice or vegetables, will be inspected with x-rays to ensure no foreign objects have crept in during the production or packaging line, and critical mechanical components in your car or the plane you're travelling on will also have been inspected by x-rays to ensure they can stand up to the rigours of their daily use and not unexpectedly fail, which could have catastrophic implications. Can you briefly explain X-ray imaging? Well, many people will be familiar with the principles of X-ray in that it allows you to see inside objects. For example, a good percentage of us will have had a medical X-ray to inspect a broken bone. And in fact, the use of X-rays has been around for a long time, having first been discovered by Wilhelm Röntgen in 1895. X-rays come from a section of the electromagnetic spectrum where the particles have enough energy to pass through a material without interaction. But actually, this isn't so useful. So in reality, we select X-rays of a certain energy that will be absorbed at different rates dependent on a material's density or thickness. It's this information that we collect in specialist X-ray detectors that allows us to form an X-ray image that many of you will be familiar with. However, this type of transmission imaging is one of just a few imaging modalities that we can utilise in X-ray NDT. We can also produce 3D images by way of computed tomography, CT, and for thin samples using techniques like laminography. Even backscattered imaging